right, ladies and gentlemen, so breaking news. The famous former YouTuber, now kick streamer known as Neon, who's also been highly associated with Aiden Ross, I believe Aiden Ross is the one who got him the deal with kick and signed him on his behalf, has recently had a trip to Dubai. And we know Dubai is bougie, it's high class, it's for rich people, millionaires, people who got money, like a lot of these kick streamers do. But you know, a lot of these kick streamers who are also from America or from the West don't like to follow the laws of specific countries that they travel to for tourism, like a Johnny Somali who was beat up and bullied by the locals of Japan or a nice Poseidon who got arrested for a week or so for getting a lap dance or providing a lap dance to somebody else like you gotta understand in these countries especially Islamic countries mostly populated by Muslims of which Neon I believe is Muslim himself or comes from a Muslim Arabic Islamic family should understand that if you violate their laws they're not gonna give a fuck about you they're going to clamp the hammer on you whip that ass and send your ass to jail instantly like this is not America where you're gonna be coddled and American privileged and oh my god they're only 20 years old like no in these countries by the time you're 16 they expect you to act like a fully fledged citizen of that country who understands the laws respects the culture and the society but in this case clearly neon did not as according to this tweet he has now been sentenced to one year in prison in dubai they say neon was last seen with his only fans girlfriend sam frank right before being arrested yet him and his crew are locked up and she's actively posting in his ex-community did she make neon take the blame and in his community she said i cannot speak on anything but when i can you guys will be the first to know and here's a clip highlighting some of what happened with sam frank and the law enforcement over there in dubai so i understand that um it's not official right we're going to jail we're going to jail oh. where are we going to the office they said Bro. But we went to guest services. That's where. Okay, guest services is where we got permission, ma'am. I want to let you know. So anyone who could clear this up is going to be in guest services as well. A passport? And they said huh? we would send it to the WhatsApp group. Chat. Close, close, close. We will go to the office. Close it. Yeah, put please. it down. Just put it down, bro. Put it down. What are you doing, bro? Now, as of right now, there doesn't seem to be any official reason released to the public yet as to why neon was arrested and maybe going to jail for at least a year in dubai but according to some very popular twitter news pages online they're saying neon has been arrested in dubai for the past three days for illegally filming and what exactly he was filming i, I have no idea was he filming other women in dubai as i believe that is illegal you cannot film another person especially if she's a woman covered up and the wife of another man like i believe that is illegal was he filming of content with his girl sam frank or was he just doing dumb shit like Johnny Somali was doing in Japan and he got arrested over that? Who knows? We all know these kick streamers are out here starving for attention and they will do anything. And I mean anything, even if their life is literally in jeopardy over some views. It's just like, bro, the lack of self-preservation in this new generation of content creators is just like astounding. And sorry, by the way, if I still sound funny, I'm still congested. I'm highly sick right now trying to fight this cold, but I am still filming content. According to another page, though, they say Neon was arrested, right? And he's going to be charged for an entire year because he and i quote didn't have the proper permits to film now pretty familiar with that as i am a content creator and in, you know even places like new york city or major cities in america if you are a content creator and you do want to film outside in the public you do technically need a filming license or filming permit to do so especially if you're like a commercial business or company making money off of what you're filming outside like for regular people who just don't do this as a job it's not professional you're just outside filming having fun like they don't care about you they care about the people making money off of this because they want to get their taxes by any means possible i'm sorry that's how governments work they want their money and they will tax you in any way they can but here's what aiden ross basically neon's boss had to say about the entire situation i'm gonna just say this though i'm doing everything that i can do to try to help but people around him made it really hard because there's clips like I'm not gonna say specifically who, but you guys can put two and two together. Someone around them mocked them pretty bad to where it's, it's like they fucked it up. I'm not gonna lie. Based off what they said. Who cares? I'm gonna stop talking about it, but it's. 
is false. And in the comments, you know, people are saying and alluding to the possibility of Neon with his OnlyFans girlfriend trying to film content over there in Dubai, which is highly illegal. They say respectfully, Neon exploited Ramadan and OnlyFans is illegal in Dubai. Some people are saying deserve. Some people are saying he shouldn't be arrested for doing his job, which is streaming and being a general nuisance to society. He didn't even harass anyone while doing it in Dubai. Gotta fix some laws. Oh, oh, so now Dubai has to fix his laws to cater to people like Neon. Okay. Because nowadays everyone walks around with cameras and films places, which in my opinion is not true. Like, believe it or not, although we all have cameras, doesn't mean everybody's using them. And here's another clip of Aiden Ross providing more context, claiming how serious and real this actually is. How do I say this, bro? Because I don't want to get in the way. Because I see people, my, my crew talking about it. And um, it's not a script, bro. It's real life. It's, it's just hard right now. And people got to stop talking about it. So yeah, man, I, I, the fact that Aiden Ross is so unwilling to actually talk about this situation and seems very low energy about it indicates that this may be a very serious situation as you know, live streamers like to always exaggerate things for views when it is scripted, but when it's non-scripted, I mean, damn, especially for an undiagnosed ADHD or like Aiden Ross, this is kind of scary. Now here's the caveat about this entire situation. It is entirely possible. This entire thing may be fake, may be scripted and may be fraudulent as you know, dickheads like Cheeser, the guy I made a video on and he sent his old little fucking weird ass goon of a fan base to flood my comment section and dislike bomb my videos. The one I made about him with the monkey app and the fake dildo that he was doing on the monkey app. He recently faked his death for clout. And now all of a sudden, a day or two later, you're telling me Neon is out in Dubai and gets arrested and is apparently going to be sentenced to one year in prison. I mean, listen, it is entirely possible that the dickhead Cheeser is dead. I'm sorry. I have no sympathy if he actually is because these motherfuckers really got so butthurt about the video and tried to swat and dox me and now neon is out here apparently with a year of his life in jeopardy in dubai over something that his girlfriend possibly did i this may be another move to go viral and of course keemstar from drama alert came out saying his thoughts on the entire situation hey y'all sorry i'm a little dirty i just power washed my vehicle but i have to correct the record on some stuff earlier today we uh put out a story saying that it is not true that Neon has been sentenced to a year in jail because that story is going viral. Other people are picking up. The people that started the rumor are being sourced by other people. So we're trying to shut it down now because we worked the story and it literally is not true. We have confirmation that Neon 100% was not sentenced to a year in jail. And the backlash from us correcting the record is insane. Some people are saying we're riding for Neon. No, we're not. We're riding for the truth. Some people are saying that, oh, Neon paid us off and Sam fucking paid us. I don't know if you guys know this, but Drommeler made it big like a decade ago. Like we're not like our competitors on this app that have to pimp out some OnlyFans whore's asshole in order to pay rent. Of course she's talking about Sam Frank. We're good, <laughs> you know? We're literally giving you this information for one reason, because it's the fucking truth. He has not been sentenced to a year in jail in Dubai. When we do get accurate information, we will update you. So yeah, that's Keemstar's thoughts on the entire situation of which I'm inclined on believing Keem. I don't know, man. He seems more credible about the entire thing. And uh, this does seem like a clout move. However, it is entirely possible that Neon is still arrested and has been arrested for the last couple of days for whatever the fuck he's done over there. But maybe his community and the bloggers and the news stories have been paid off by his crew to exaggerate the story to make it seem like he's going to be sentenced to a year when he's probably going to be out in less than a week. As for Aiden acting like this entire thing is super serious, I don't know. That man has done everything in his power to gain his platform by any means necessary and Aiden does have a history of exaggerating things for clout for views and it's work and I'm not gonna act like I'm innocent of not doing that but when it comes to real life situations like this where people can literally go to prison I mean that's just kind of crazy but who knows what I do want to know is your thoughts and opinions down below of course if you're new to the channel sub to the channel hit the bell icon turn on all notifications and join the Mori discord community down below links are in the description it's pretty easy hit the link join make an account if you don't have one and participate in the community get to know everybody else to reiterate i did ban everybody before so if you were once in the community and you weren't in there for a while i most likely banned you so yeah rejoin say what's up i'm usually in there too so say hi that being said hope you guys all enjoy the rest of your day and until next time everybody stay safe out there